Trim multiple allows you to trim and extend one element or multiple elements simultaneously to their intersection with one or more other elements. So let's jump into MicroStation where we are going to take another approach at cleaning up the line work for the countertop and wall with a more efficient and versatile modification tool. Continuing in the proposed restaurant DGN file, we're going to navigate the view to the kitchen area between columns A6 and B6. For our next task, we will be trimming the wall intersection using Trim Multiple. The Trim Multiple tool is used to trim, extend, or trim and extend elements to their intersection with one or more cutting elements. The cutting element and the element that is trimmed and or extended can be lines, line strings, arcs, curves, B-spline curves, shapes, ellipses, complex chains, or complex shapes. So from the ribbon, we'll make the active tool trim multiple. The tool has three methods, trim and extend, trim, or extend. In the tool settings, we'll select the method trim and extend. We are then prompted to identify the cutting elements. In this situation, we're going to create a crossing selection window capturing numerous elements in which we'll be cutting elements. So we're going to place the cursor to the right of the door swing We'll press and hold the left mouse button, and while holding the mouse button down, we'll drag the mouse up and to the left until the cursor is to the left of column B7. And now we can release the mouse button. Every element that was either inside or touching the selection window is considered a cutting element. By dragging the selection window from the right to the left, the selection mode was set to overlap. This means that anything that was either inside or that touched the selection window was chosen. If the selection window had been created by dragging the window from the left to the right, the selection mode would have been set to inside. Only elements that were completely contained inside of the selection window would have been chosen. All right, so we're now gonna go ahead and begin to click on the geometry directly or create drag lines to trim away any unnecessary line work for the walls at the joints and intersections. And when we're finished, we can then press reset. If we were to take a look around here, there is still trimming of door openings that need to be performed. So we are going to try another technique. With the trim multiple tool still active, in the tool settings window, let's set the method now to trim. We'll then navigate the view to the door of the women's restroom near column D4. Here, we need to select one of the door frames with a data point. On the keyboard, we'll hold down the control key and then we'll select the second door frame with a data point. We can now release the control key. Next, we'll pick each wall segment to be trimmed with a data point. Then we'll click reset to complete this. So now that we're finished with the women's restroom, we'll repeat this process for the men's restroom door. Now that we're finished with the restroom door for the men's room, let's navigate the view to the sushi bar at columns B5 and B6. With the trim multiple tool still active, in the tool settings window, we'll set the method now to extend. Here, we'll carefully pick the left vertical line on the right side of the countertop and then extend each of the two dashed arcs by picking each in turn with a data point. When we're finished, we can then reset to complete the task. During this lesson, you learned how to trim and extend geometry via the Trim Multiple tool. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.